Hi friends. So uh, G main 2014 problems. Uh, in previous class, I explained some of the problems from G main 2014. Today, I am going to explain some more problems from the calculus part, right? So now you see from uh, the calculus on rules theorem a problem. So here we have f and g are differentiable functions in closed interval 0 comma 1 satisfying the condition f of 0 is equals to 2 that equals to g of 1 and g of 0 is equals to 0 and f of 1 equals to 6. Then for c belongs to open interval 0 comma 1 we have some options given that 2 f dash c equal to g dash c, 2 f dash c equal to 3 g dash c, f dash c equals to g dash c, f dash c equals to 2 g dash c. So, these are the options is given. Now, how to do this problem? Now, you see here what is given I will copy first the values f of 0 is equals to given to that equals to g of 1. Now, the next one is g of 0 equals to 0 and f of 1 equals to 6 and he is asking something c belongs to 0 1 c is in between 0 comma First of all, you have to define a function, you have to guess, you have to guess a function using the options with the help of options also you can guess the function. What the function we are going to define now, suppose here if I define something function already f and g is using, so what I will do, I will define a function pi of x like f of x minus 2 g of x, okay. So it is pi of x is equals to f of x minus g of x is defined. So what is saying in the problem? In the problem he is saying that, so in the problem he is saying that f and g are differentiable functions in closed interval 0 comma 1, f and g are differentiable functions in closed interval 0 comma 1. So therefore, f is, f is differentiable on closed interval 0 comma 1, so therefore obviously it is continuous on closed interval 0 comma 1. It is differentiable given to us now from one condition that every differentiable function is always continuous, every differentiable function is always continuous. So differentiability implies the continuity. So here he said that it is differentiable on closed interval 0 comma 1. What it is means f is differentiable on closed interval 0 comma 1. So therefore f is continuous also because of differentiability implies continuity. Now g is differentiable on closed interval 0 comma 1 therefore it is also continuous on closed interval 0 comma 1. So now some conditions on the continuity and differentiability. If two functions are continuous, their difference is continuous, their addition is continuous, their sum is continuous, their scalar multiplication is also continuous. What is that? If f comma g are continuous, f plus g is also continuous, f minus g is also continuous, something scalar multiple 3f, r, 2f, r, k, f is also continuous. f of x equals to f of x minus 2g of x. So, f of x is continuous on closed interval 0 comma 1, g of x is also continuous. So, therefore, 2g of x is also continuous and difference of two continuous functions is also continuous. So, what happened here? Pi is continuous on closed interval 0 comma 1. Also given that f is differentiable, g is differentiable on closed interval 0 comma. So therefore, f minus 2g is also differentiable. So therefore, f minus 2g is what? Nothing but pi of x. Therefore, pi is differentiable on closed interval 0 comma 1. So I can write if if you want to say instead of closed interval 0 comma 1, you may say open interval 0 comma 1 also because of it is differentiable on closed interval 0 comma 1 means it is differentiable on open interval 0 comma 1 as well as at 0 at 1 also including ending points. So pi is continuous on closed interval 0 1, pi is differentiable on open interval 0 1. Now you see what is the value of pi of 0. What is the value of pi of 0? Substitute x equal to 0. So therefore f of 0 minus 2 g of 0 but f of 0 value is 2. So, I will copy that f of 0 is 2 minus g of 0, g of 0 is how much here g of 0 is 0. So, I got the value 2. Next, I will calculate what is the value of pi of 1. So, I am calculating the function values at 0 ending points at 0 and at 1. So, pi of 1. What is pi of 1? Here x is equals to 1. So, substitute x equals to 1 here and x equals to 1 here. So, f of 1 minus 2 g of 1. So, that is equals to again by using given values f of 1 is given to be 6 minus 2 into g of 1 is given as what g of 1 is where, where g of 1 equals to 2. So, 6 minus 4 that equals to 2, 6 minus 4 equals to, now you observe, now you observe 
pi is continuous on closed interval 0 1 okay and pi is differentiable on open interval 0 1 now you see pi of 0 and pi of 1 values are equal so what i got pi is continuous on closed interval 0 comma 1 differentiable on open interval 0 comma 1 and also pi of 0 equals to pi of 1 so what is the meaning of this it's nothing but the conditions of the rolls theorem so therefore pi satisfies so you must know you must know what are the conditions of rolls theorem then only you can understand this so pi satisfies what is that all the conditions of pi satisfies all the conditions of rolls theorem okay so therefore according to rolls theorem what it says if a function satisfies all the conditions of rolls theorem there exist what c belongs to open interval a b here our a b is 0 1 so there exists c belongs to open interval 0 1 such that what is that derivative should be 0 at that point okay so derivative vanishes in between 0 comma that is the uh, result of rolls theorem there is a c belongs to open interval 0 comma 1 such that pi dash c equal to 0 now what is pi dash c means pi dash x pi dash x is what f dash x pi dash x is what f dash x minus 2 g dash x so in place of x you substitute c what happens f dash c minus 2 g dash c equals to 0 implies f dash c is equals to 2 g dash c so here we have f dash c is equal to 2 g dash c that is the correct option right now here what you should know what you should know to solve this problem so here you should know these conditions now you see one is first we must know what is rolls theorem what is the rolls theorem statement so suppose there is a function real valued function okay if there is a real valued function continuous on closed interval a comma b and one more is what differentiable on open interval a comma b and if the function values are equal at a comma b so these are the main conditions of the rolls theorem f should be continuous on closed interval a b f should be differentiable on open interval a b and f of a should be equals to f of b the function value at end points must be equal then we can apply the rolls theorem and the result of rolls theorem is what whenever a function satisfies all these conditions on a particular interval whenever a function satisfies all these three conditions continuity differentiability and function values are equal on a particular interval then there must exist a c in between a comma b c belongs to open interval a comma b such that f dash c equal to 0 where derivative becomes 0 such type of point exists when it exists derivative will become 0 at a particular point in between a comma b when whenever the function satisfies all these conditions on that particular interval so that is the rolls theorem we are using here and in this one more key point we use is whenever a function is differentiable that will be continuous so whenever a function is differentiable that function is also continuous so in our problem in this problem it is given that f is differentiable on closed interval 0 comma this is given in the problem so what i told if f is differentiable automatically it will become continuous so therefore f is continuous on closed interval 0 comma 1 also so if the population of a rabbits population of a rabbit surviving at a time t be governed by the differential equation dp by dt equals to half p of t minus 200 and given that if p of 0 is equals to 100 then what is p of t we have to find out so here a differential equation is given to you and one condition is also given to you p of 0 is equal to 100 you have to find out what is p of t okay so <coughs> what is the differential equation given to us is dp by dt minus is equals to half of p of t minus 200 with the initial condition p of 0 is equals to 100 so this is the question <coughs> now here see how we will solve this problem so instead of writing p of t simply we can write like this dp by dt of course here p is a population in terms of time p of t in terms of time so this i can write p by 2 minus 200 okay can you observe this is a differential equation which can be solved by using variable separable method means we can separate the variables means dp terms with p terms okay and dt separate we can write we can separate the variables now how i will do you see dp by dt okay that is equals to 
that equals to so I can take two LCM so here I'll get P minus 400 so DP and P minus 400 these are the same variables I'm writing one side so what I will get 1 by P minus 400 is equal to half DT and here you get what DP so DP by P minus 400 equals to half DT so here variables are now clearly separated so whenever variables are separated we say that it is in the form of variable separables method so we will do the integration on both sides to solve differential equation here we are going to find out P right so integration of 1 by P minus 400 DP is equals to integration of 1 by 2 DT we have to introduce a constant now it is in the form of 1 by x dx so integration of 1 by x dx is log x so therefore log of modulus of p minus 400 integration what is that integration of 1 by x dx is equals to what log mod x so log mod x log mod p minus 400 that is equal to half is a constant outside integration of 1 dt integration of 1 dt is t plus c okay now there is a conversion there is a conversion <coughs> from log to e what is that here we have base e so we can write modulus of p minus 400 is equals to e to the power of t by 2 plus c so modulus of p minus 400 is equal to e to the power of t by 2 plus c now here plus c is an arbitrary constant that we are going to find out with the help of the initial condition p of 0 is equal to 100 so what is the meaning of p of 0 p of t so in place of t he substituted 0 in place of t he substituted 0 and p value is becoming 100 so therefore t is equals to 0 at t equal to 0 at time t equal to 0 p value is equals to 100 means initially there are 100 rabbits the population of the rabbits is 100 initially so substitute that so we will get 100 minus 400 300 under modulus is equals to e to the power of t value 0 0 by 2 so leave it 0 by 2 0 plus c e power c so i got the value of e power c i replace that so modulus of p minus 400 is equals to modulus of p minus 400 is equals to e to the power of t by 2 into e to the power of c okay Q why e to the power of t by 2 into e to the power of c but e to the power of c how much i got 300 that i will copy now 300 now you see initially the population of the rabbits is how much 100 and it is going at the rate of half of p subtract 200 half of p minus 200 so therefore obviously half of initial means half of 100 so that is going to reduce so therefore p value is going to be less than 400 here p is less than 400 therefore p minus 400 is what negative p minus 400 is negative so that's why p minus 400 is negative we will get minus of p minus 400 so in previous class also I'll exp i explained about mod x so what is the value of mod x what is the value of mod x mod x is x if x is positive mod x is minus x if x is negative so here p minus 400 is negative so mod x is minus x minus p minus 400 that is equals to e to the power of t by 2 into 300 e to the power of t by 2 into 300 so minus p plus 400 is equals to 300 e to the power of t by 2 so you can write p is equals to now right what is p is equals to p that side 300 e power t by 2 this side so therefore you will get p is equals to 400 minus 300 e to the power of t by 2 so this is the population of the rabbits so here it's actually a simple problem based on the variable separable method and variable separable method it is just you have to separate the variables then do the integration after finding integration use the initial condition p of 0 is equal to 0 uh, 100 p of 0 is equal to 100 and using this initial condition you are going to find out what is the arbitrary constant value c value here c we are not directly getting e power c we are getting so e power c is replaced by 300 so at the end you got the population is equal to 400 minus 300 e to the power of t by 2 okay so this is a problem from the differential equation so now you see one more problem is if g is inverse of the function f and f dash x is 1 by 1 plus x power 5 f dash x is 1 by 1 plus x power 5 then what he is asking what is g dash x okay now <coughs> i'll solve this question now you see g is inverse of f what is inverse of f uh, means that means that f circle g of x is equals to g circle f of x is equals to x 
So two functions are said to be inverses to each other whenever it, the two functions satisfies this condition f circle g of x is equal to g circle f of x is equal to x then f and g are inverses to each other. So this is the from the definition of the inverse function. So he is asking g dash x what is given to you f dash x. So here I will take this part okay sorry I will take this part what is that g of circle you remove f of x is equals to x just simply you differentiate with respect to x. So if I say this is t what is g of t derivative g dash t g dash t t means actually f of x. Now again once again we have to differentiate f of x what is the derivative of f of x f dash x using chain rule and x derivative is how much 1. So what I did g dash f of x then again f of x derivative f dash x and x derivative is equals to 1. Now g dash f of x into f dash x is equal to 1 but what do you want g dash x. So I take this one g dash of f of x that is equals to I take f dash x that side. So 1 by f dash x but what is f dash x already we have 1 by 1 plus x power 5. So I replace f dash x by 1 by 1 plus x power 5. So therefore what you will get g dash of f of x is equals to 1 by 1 by 1 plus x power 5. So therefore g dash of f of x is equals to how much 1 plus x power 5. Now what I will do I because of I want g dash x right. So I replace f of x by something new variable y. So what it will become g dash of y g dash of y g dash of y is equals to if I replace f of x is equals to y what x will become what x will become f inverse of y right but what is the inverse of f tell me what is the inverse of f is what g so g of y so in place of x f inverse of y f inverse of y is g of y so 1 plus what is x x is g of y whole power 5 right so at the end you can replace y by x so g dash x is equal to 1 plus g of x whole power 5 that is the result g dash x is equal to 1 plus g of x whole power 5 ok. So I will continue in next class with remaining problems of g main 2014 keep watching my channel thank you for watching this video and if you like this video subscribe to my channel.